Good morning, guys, and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. Guys, today is kind of like a vlog kind of day. We're actually, <laughs> actually, we're running a test on our Apple Cool fridge with the stock factory uh, battery setup, so definitely stick around for that video. Actually, I'll leave a link in the eye in the sky so you can check that out. Um, but today, it's kind of a vlog kind of day because we need to make a couple of modifications to the Jeep Wrangler Winter Edition, uh, you know, kind of preparing up for our next trip. We learned a few lessons on the last one. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And honestly, guys, if you haven't checked out our website at bubblesgarage.tv, you probably want to do that here really, really soon. Our limited run of our Texas Tread Hats are definitely running out of stock. And honestly, I think we only have a few of these in stock. And keep in mind, we have the Distressed Hats as well as the, uh, the Trucker Hats. Now, this is the Jeep Wave Edition. We also have the Hunter Edition, the Fishing Edition, and the Military Edition. If you want to check those out really fast, because it's not going to last very long, she's running the Military Edition right here. <laughs> we only have the, the uh, Distressed Hats in two. We have the Military Edition and the Jeep Wave Edition. So you, you definitely want to check that out. But today, we got to make some modifications. Let me show you what we're going to do. Fridge is still running. We're actually now at medium. Definitely check out that video. We're going to take all this out right here. We're going to check this panel right here on the driver's side of the vehicle. We know we have a power plug on the right-hand side already. That is the one that's built into the Jeep. It's the factory one um, that you can control from your M7 fuse. Want to know more about that? Check our fridge video. Right now, I'm going to check um, to look behind here and see how hard it would be for us to wire in an additional switch that we're going to run off our accessory system. So let's take a look at that and see how hard it's going to be. But I don't think it's going to be that bad. Show me a lesson and I've learned it. Show me a bridge, I probably burned it. Show me a dollar, yeah, I've earned it. Though I can't tell you where it went. Show me time I used to waste it. Show me whiskey, I still taste it. Show me hell and hell I've raised it. All right, so I think we figured it out. We're gonna put it on this little panel right here. There is room on the other side to do that, but I figured for maintenance and things like that later on in the future, this is gonna be the best bet. Now, the way that this is slanted slightly at an angle, we really kind of need to put it right about in between these two tabs right here. Now, keep in mind, we're gonna wire in some, uh, some 12 gauge wire right on here. Really probably should run about 10 gauge, but for I think for our purposes and the fuse that we're gonna be running, I think 12 gauge is gonna be just fine. We're gonna cut up about 15 feet. We're gonna cut this hole right here and we're gonna use uh, some trusty handy dandy butane torches, heat it up with a cut knife and then uh, cut out that little circle right then and there. That's just who I've always been. But if I could go back somehow and get one more time around Give me one more time around the sun. I'd take it, I'd run around this blue rock and give it all I got. I'd live and let live, forget and forgive. Please don't give up on me now. Give me one more time around. All right, we got that all in there. It actually looks nice, clean, and almost factory. We did a quick test fit of it. Everything worked out really well. Now we're gonna do some crimp connectors for this. We got our heat shrink out. We wanna do this nice and pretty. We're also gonna solder these connectors as well. And then once we have that done, then we'll have our entire wiring harness ready to be attached to the source control system. So it's actually not that bad, just a little time consuming. That's pretty much about all. But right here on Bubba's Garage, that's kind of what we do. Most of the time when we wire these things, we don't just do the crimp connectors. We go ahead and solder them. We go ahead and heat shrink them and all that. And I know that kind of sounds like overkill, but it's just, I don't know. It's just what I've always done. So, welcome above his garage. Still got things I need to do here. A lot of air I need to get clear. A lot of love, a little less fear. Lift up all of those I let down. Give me one more time around. Bobby's wrapping up the heat shrink on that and that'll be ready to go. We cut about 15 feet 
of cord electrical power cord to run all the way to the front i think that's going to wrap out pretty good next step after this is we're going to clean up that wiring harness just a little bit just to kind of keep the wires together so that way when we run them all the way to the front it's nice and it's organized and well when you take it out later or you know it's a jeep thing you, you mod up your jeep all the time those wires aren't like split running separately you get confused you don't know which wires which we always bundle our wires together not necessarily in a loom but like twist them braid them we'll show you that here in just a little bit side note fridge is still running very strong definitely stick around to that video here in the near future we, it, it, i don't think it's ever going to die that's about it guys um we basically did a little bit of braiding down the line so you can kind of see a little bit of braiding down the line and added some tape primarily because when you go and you make modifications to the jeep and stuff like that if you have other wires running around that that uh door channels and things like that you, you don't know which one's which and things like that so it helps me keep them in line like i said this is about 15 feet so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install this back into the jeep now Keep in mind, you know, where we put that 12 volt plug is literally going to be just shy underneath the seatbelt, where the seatbelt runs. So it's going to be up tight and out of the way. It is definitely a really close fit, but fitting it right in between, uh, the, uh, between these two lips, these two clips right here works out really, really well. And you can see again, it's pointed at an angle and the seatbelt is going to sit just slightly above that. So it works out really well. And it just creates a nice clean install. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this piece, but we're not gonna hook it up just yet. We're still running some battery tests on the fridge. Um, so I'm gonna run this down and I'm gonna just hang tight. And then once we do our dual battery setup and things like that, I'm gonna run the rest of this wire all the way to the front of the Jeep underneath the hood. And we're gonna install it into our source control system as an accessory wire that is gonna run directly from our dual battery setup. So definitely stick around for some of that a little bit later. And then after that, I think it's gonna be barbecue time. I take it, I run around this blue rock And give it all I got I can live and let live Forget and forgive Please don't give up on me now Give me one more time around Give me something I can Give me a chance so I can give more Heaven knows what I'd give for One more time around So basically all I did is between there, uh, right where this plug is, and on the other side is your carpet. There's a hole here and there's a hole there. So I just fished it up through here for right now. I'm going to pretty much roll it up and uh, set it down right here so that when we get to the next part of this installation it'll pretty much be ready to go it's not going to be hooked up right now i think this spot is going to work out really well and it kind of gives it that factory appearance and you guys know exactly what i'm talking about on these jeeps there's really not a lot of places to run power back here you know i've watched uh, a lot of overlanders and off-road videos and things like that and a lot of those guys they uh they will turn around and um put a bunch of accessories uh, mounted and glued we're all in this spot here uh, maybe even on the other side as well and, you know and I think that's fine um, but I like the clean look and in the end I just don't want a bunch of power plugs all in my way keep in mind now we have two power plugs right here in the back of the rig we have the one that's going to run to the source control system that will allow us to power from our accessory battery and then we have the factory one that's built into the Jeep on this side now if you followed our video about the the fridge um, testing and things like that we actually have this power wire actually set up to where it's constantly powered even when the jeep is off so it's a pretty good place to add a little usb plug you know plug a usb adapter into that thing and charge some cell phones or camera accessories or things like that guys i hope this video helped you out uh give you some ideas about how to install accessory power and things like that in the back of your rig definitely check out a couple of our other videos we've done uh power wire setup for those that have a jeep wrangler jk or jl for that matter that don't have the accessory power in the back um bobby's 2016 jeep wrangler jk did not have that um we installed one 
So um, yeah, check that out. And the cool thing is we didn't run any additional wires or anything like that for that. We tapped into the factory wires that were already there and it worked out great. She's using it in the back of her black bear. Hopefully this gives you guys some ideas about how uh, to install or add some accessory power wires to the back of your Jeep. Yeah. Especially if you're kind of going for that factory look. Yeah, and I, like I think it. this is going to work out really good. Yep, and the power plug is not going to be in the way. It's going to be out in that, that wheel well. Now, that may not work for you, depending on what you're actually doing. Again, be sure to check out a 2016 Jeep or Wrangler Black Bear that we did. That'll give you some more ideas. But oh, I think yeah. for right now, we're going to wrap this video because we're going to go have some barbecue time. Barbecue. So, guys, if you <laughs> like this video, do me a favor. Give us a huge, huge, huge thumbs up. And if you really like this video and you want to stick around and find out what happens next right here on Bubba's Garage, please subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody. Good night. Give me something I can live for. Give me a chance so I can give more. Heaven knows what I'd give for. One more time around.